just la last year, exactly on this day, on August 8, Kalyan Tripa uh, took the oath. And at that time, and there was a bit of anxiousness, uh, in fact, quite a bit of anxiousness among Tibetan people, uh, including myself and the members of the Kasha. But in retrospect now, if you look back, uh, the Kalyans and myself, we have traveled around the world and to many Shijas. And uh, cumulatively, I think it's fair to report that there's a bit of a uh, sense of uh, uh, stability, there's a bit of a uh, sense of, you know, rather the, we have lessened uh, the anxiousness considerably among the Tibetan people. That, I think, is, uh, is, an, is an achievement. And not so much because the 14th Kasha has performed uh, something great or have contributed in a major way. Rather, this reflects how strong the uh, Tibetan democratic system is, mainly due to the vision of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the hard work of our elder generation who have contributed so much, sacrificed so much uh, for the Tibetan cause and especially in building this institution and the, uh, and the uh, Tibetan movement all around the world. Due to their hard work, there's a bit of you know, stability uh, in the, uh, Tibetan uh, the, uh, the Central Tibetan Administration as well as in the Tibetan movement. This sends a strong message to the Chinese government that their thinking for many years has been that when the elder generation will not, uh, will not leave or will leave this world, the Tibetan movement will collapse. The Tibetan administration will be weakened, which I think the message is clear, is not going to happen because the elder, exiled, exiled Tibetans mainly the contribution of the elder generation, have strengthened this institution uh, solidly, that even there is a change of a person or two at the leadership level, but the institution will carry on and the movement will carry on. And also it sends a message to Tibetans inside Tibet, because I'm sure they were equally, if not more, anxious than us when His Holiness Dalai Lama decided to devolve all his political authority. Now, in one year time, when they see on a weekly or monthly basis that there is no major breakdown or major collapse, rather there is a bit of you know, uh, comfort uh, and confidence in the uh, administration and the movement, that gives them also encouragement. Already, they are very courageous, they are very committed to the cause, and that gives them additional uh, impetus uh, to their thinking and feeling in that sense, the solidarity of Tibetans inside and outside Tibet is strong and will grow stronger. And to the international community also, because we have declared the Tibetan administration as democratic. There was renewed interest last year, and obviously there was always an interest, but renewed interest towards the Tibetan democratic system. Now, uh, the international community through the media have come to growing realization that the Tibetan administration is in fact a fully and, as we, if I use the technical term, consolidated democratic system, uh, which uh, brings in additional respect and additional support, which we see happening uh, to the places where we went to. In that sense, I think this is an achievement, not because of the 14 Kasha, but because of the hard work of the elder generation, and especially to those, all those civil servants who are part of the administration. The elder civil servant and the present civil servants have made major contribution and will continue to make major contribution. In that sense, I want to thank, on behalf of Fortin Kasha, to Tibetans inside Tibet and outside Tibet, and all those elder generation who work so hard, who sacrifice so much, and it is our duty and responsibility, rather our sacred duty, to build on the legacy of the elder generation and on the hard work of the elder generation so that we can carry on the Tibetan movement forward. Thank you.